October the 1st, 2021, will stand out in my mind forever. Being told that I was going to be one of the campmates in the competition, I am a Toastmaster, get me out of here, was one of the greatest things that happened to me that afternoon. I'm going to be famous beyond my wildest imagination. If it's based on the TV show, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, where six celebrities are dropped into a jungle where they undertake a series of trials. There they can earn stars, which they trade for food. Fellow Toastmasters and very welcome guests, when I got the phone call telling me that I was going to be one of the campmates, I was thrilled. I told my wife. She was all excited. We're going to be rich beyond our wildest dreams. One hour later, she saw me slumped in my armchair looking dejected. What's wrong? Nothing. But I just realized I'm going to be stuck in a jungle with five Toastmasters. I know how you feel, she said. Did you ever enter a competition knowing that it would come back to bite you in the ass? I had that feeling before I even entered. The organizers told me that there would be creepy crawlies there and slimy creatures. And that would be just the other Toastmasters. We would be hungry and we would have to forage for food. Meanwhile, Helen and Sue, also known as Ant and Dick, who organized the competition will be staying in a luxury five-star hotel just beyond the edge of the jungle. Knowing them, they would eat and mostly drink all of the profits. It explained why the compensation for the campmates was so derisory. Why did I enter? Why do I do these things to myself? I could have just as easily sat at home and watched Steel Haven conference on Zoom. Or better again, watched TV. Instead, I was entering the frontier of my fear, the horror of my horrors. My wife suggested that I should ref reframe the whole thing as a challenge, as an opportunity, an opportunity to confront your greatest fear, your fear of being with other Toastmasters. The six campmates were chosen, three based in the UK and three from Ireland. As it happened, I knew the other two Irish campmates. And like all Toastmasters, they're as tough as old boots. Both women and like all cork women, they're as tough as old boots. One of them has a posh English accent. So that just left me and one other campmate with Cork accents, giving us one big disadvantage. The organizers would understand only half of what we say. Even I can only understand half of what the other Cork 
campmates at rattles on about. For example, recently, I did a speech about growing up as part of a large family in a house with just one bath. My evaluator, a lady from England, was under the impression that the bat hung upside down from the rafters and flew around at night. Luckily, my area director, Ted Melanfi, was on hand to translate posh English into Cork. He intervened just before the evaluation and the evaluator went completely tits up. Victoria girl, Pascal's speech wasn't about bats. It was about bats. Bats that you have a bat in. As it turned out, the first few weeks in the jungle were bliss. We swam naked in the lake. We dangled naked from the treetops. Two of the campmates couldn't take the pressure of watching us dangling, and they left the competition voluntarily. That just left the toughest of the tough, the roughest of the rough, the most insensitive Toastmasters on the planet. You guessed correctly. James Pegg, Moira O'Brien, Sharon O'Neill, and moi. If there's one thing worse than sharing a jungle with five other Toastmasters, it's sharing a jungle with three other Toastmasters. But the good thing is, it helped me to confront and conquer my greatest fear, my fear of being with other Toastmasters, especially cock Toastmasters. But having frolicked with them, I found that they're not so bad after all. Contest chair. <laughs> 